Hello. <coughs> Nick here. <coughs> You're going to have to put up with me coughing and hacking and sneezing. My uh, cold or something, whatever it is, came back. <coughs> but I wanted to do another video. My friend Robert requested that I compare the AEG to the ICOM 7610. There you go. All right. So both on the Wellbrook, running through the Strasburg. The ICOM is actually just running off of a uh, one of those BioNO batteries. I just got it plugged in back there behind it, and it's running just fine. So this 7610 might just be my new portable radio, right? See, it's much smaller than the AEG, right? So, yeah, I can carry that around real easy with a 12 amp per hour bio -no battery. <coughs> yeah, sure. Okay, so here it is. It's about uh, 8.30 at night, uh, 8.35 p.m. You can see it on the ICOM, uh, Central Standard Time in Dallas, Texas. And we're on the 49 meter band. So um, one thing I am changing, if you remember my last couple of videos, I would I was running one Bose speaker through a switch with a toggle on it. And when I was messing around this afternoon, I noticed that if I had the other radio turned off or even unplugged from the toggle, that... I could, I could hear when I was, so let's say I was selecting B, I could hear A if A was playing, I, and, and even though I was selecting B. So uh, uh, that's not cool, right? So um, what we're going to do tonight is two bows, one for the, this one for the ICOM, this one for the AEG. And I have them both set as close as I can to equal volume. And my camera tripod won't go high enough to uh, show this because I got freaking four radios stacked up here um, to get my downward cant on the camera. One click on my tripod, which gives me a better, it gives a better performance, I think, better video but we're just gonna have to put up with this so anyway all for robert so blame robert everybody anyway all right so enough talking uh let's uh start with the icon <laughs> Bandwidth 9 kilohertz, bandwidth 6. You can see that up there. Let me try and get a little closer. Hopefully, you can read that. AGC slow, no attenuation, no preamp. No noise reduction. Noise reduction. <laughs> Sounds a little louder, so I'm going to turn the volume down. So we're on the AEG right now. Slow AGC. 6 kilohertz. There is no attenuation, there is no preamp, there is no noise reduction. The only thing you can do with the AEG is just hope that they got it right when they designed it. Pretty much. Other than playing with the bandwidth, uh, nothing really. You know, or you can put it in manual game, right? But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I come.
AEG. does but the light moves so let's play with it you can tell it's a very weak signal because I can't even get my red tuning indicator to light up here if you remember from yesterday's video hi Tom Hertz. Can you hear the difference between three and four kilohertz? That one kilohertz makes the world of difference on AM. The three just muffles it too much. I could make this down to three and you'd hear that. But that's why I leave this at four. starting to come in a little bit. It's sneaking in a little bit. <laughs> so, my friend Robert suggested that my RF, the meter's set for RF. There's AF, line meter, or line level, or whatever they call it. RF. He said it's sticky or slow, and I agree. It's not really active. That could be because... The RF gain is turned down. I think with that, when you turn the RF gain down, the meter goes up. I don't know. Let's try this. Put it on manual gain. See? Gain. MGC. That's too much. The meter's not doing anything. And as I turn the RF gain down... The meter climbs. AGC. I mean, it's moving. This one seems pretty stable up here. They're not reading in the same thing. I mean, this one reads, uh, what does that say? DB, DBM, I don't know if this one has a DBM, I gotta get closer, I can see it from back here. DBM. Let's go play around with these close signals over here. Let's uh, shrink down the meter span. Uh, span.
I didn't change anything and the volume took a nosedive. AEG. So I'm going to bump them both a little bit on the volume. I come. AEG. I come. All right. Let's see what this 180 sounds like. Sounds like a mess, like it did yesterday. I think there's two signals broadcasting. Someone suggested trying uh, sideband, so we'll try lower sideband, since it's away from that signal. Bottom radio. Icom. I got the Icom. Look at this volume is all the way jacked up. This I barely had to move it up a little bit. Something going on there. 3 kilohertz, 2.9 kilohertz. Three point four. And it's German. I don't know. I come. It's got its work cut out for it. Let's go back to AM. See now I get some more uh, some weirdness in there. So <laughs> is it two separate signals and they're jacking each other, or is it one signal and he's broadcasting on sideband? I don't know. I count. Let's try something else. Let's try this beacon over here. CW 200 Hertz, preamp.
I got a preamp too, man. That's jacking it up. No preamp. AEG. Let's try to raise the tone on the icon. Sounds pretty close. AEG. I come. Remember, ICOM's got a 200 filter. AEG can only go down to 300. They're both on, this one's on slow, this one's on fast. Let's see what the, all right. Back on the AEG. Doesn't really make a difference to me. Sounds nice, baby, with that 300 filter. I come with a 500 filter. Yeah, we're not getting both guys. The 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 quiet guy, I can barely hear him. I don't know if you all can. Let's try yeah, something else. Bad from Florida. It's coming in pretty good. I said, tonight's not really a good night. Uh, got a lot of noise tonight, and uh, everybody was fanning ahead had a hard time. Um, I think I just go back. I come.
real quick excuse me the AEG sound like it's bringing it in better what else can we listen to? Let's go back to uh, 49 meters. <sighs> Icon. Point eight nine zero megahertz. Our mailing address is WWCR one three zero zero WWCR Avenue, Nashville, Tennessee. One eight AEG USA. I come. Thank <laughs> you. 
AEG. All right. I can't handle this anymore. I got to go lie down and take a nap or something. I feel like crap. So... Uh, what I noticed, my observation, and remember now, I might be dizzy or sick or both, or just crazy. On the weak, super weak signals, the AEG's AGC gets, I don't know what the term I'm looking for is, punchy, weird, something. But on you know, normal signals with a certain amount of strength. It sounds awesome. It sounds great. On the weak signals, the AGC gets a little, I don't know, weird. But if I put it on manual gain, I can adjust it and it sounds good. So I, this was sounding as good as the ICOM. Uh, yeah. Even on that 28 megahertz beacon, it sounded great. Uh... Sideband, <coughs> it sounded really nice. The AGC, or excuse me, the AEG, the Telefunken, is standing tall, okay? So, this was Robert's request. Robert, you wanted me to test this. And while we're talking about Robert, Robert, I just read your um, comment about the 10 megahertz input on the backs of the radios. And my brain still hurts, all right? Uh, there's actually smoke coming out of my ears right now because I have no clue what you're talking about. So I don't know. I gotta have to wait till I get better and read it again or something. But uh, I'm very happy with the performance of the Telefunken. And then Glenn, <coughs> my buddy Glenn, asked me to compare the Telefunken to the Tentec 340 on top, way over there. So, I, I can't, I'm not gonna move all these around. I gotta unplug shit, replug it in, move it. I, I'm not doing that, I'm sorry. I'm happy to test the 340 against Telefunken, but it's gonna have to be, do something here, then quick, move over there and do something. All right, so it's gonna be one of these. Maybe I could drag a Bose speaker and have them meet in the middle, all right? Because I got like a three-foot cable for each. So maybe I could put a Bose speaker for each radio like right there in the middle. But I can't. I'm not going to re re remove everything and move them all and all this other shit. I, I can't do that. Sorry. But um, I will fire them up and test them uh, where they're sitting. So... That one will be there. That one will be there. And I'll drag the Bose speakers as far as I can to the center for each one. And uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm very happy with the, with the Telefunken. And uh, <coughs> still, <coughs> still have no clue what the hell that does. And uh, I still haven't figured out. I haven't really tried with the memories past the video I did yesterday. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, there you go, Robert. Tell me what you think. Uh, all right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out.